Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 12 under the topic Nyquist plot. It will be better if you go through the procedure of how to solve a problem using Nyquist plot. I will give the link in the description. The problem is construct Nyquist plot for a feedback control system whose open loop transfer function is given by this. Comment on the stability of open loop and closed loop system. Step 1 is here we are going to find the location of poles. Denominator terms are known as poles and numerator terms are known as zeros. So here in the given problem there are no zeros. Only we are having poles. So there are 2 in number. Now we are going to find the value of poles. We are going to equate these two terms to 0. So 1 is s equal to 0. When you equate 1 minus s equal to 0 the value of s is equal to 1. Right. Now we are going to plot these poles on the S plane. So this is our S plane. Here one is S is 0 and another one is S equal to 1. So number of poles lying on the right half of S plane is this forms the right half of S plane. Right. So number of poles lying on the right half of S plane is 1. So just write it. Then step number 2 we are going to find the number of encirclements. So number of encirclements is given by the formula z minus p. So as we already said no zeros in this problem. So 0 the number of poles lying on the right hand side of s plane is 1. So here 1 so 0 minus 1 is minus 1. Right. And step 3 is we are going to draw the rough Nyquist plot. So when you look back at the problem see we are having a pole at origin. Right. So while drawing typical Nyquist plot here, the origin should not be covered. Okay, you have to draw the Nyquist plot like this. And this plot has four different sections. You see, first section starting point is plus infinity and it ends at plus zero. And this is your section two. It starts at plus zero and ends at minus zero. And this is our section three. It starts at minus zero and ends at minus infinity. And this is our last section, section four. It starts at minus infinity and ends at plus infinity. Now we are going to write the expression for phase angle and magnitude. So the first step is we are replacing S by J omega. And here we are having an expression like this, right? And next we are writing the expression for phase angle. So omega contributes 90 degree. I am going to move this omega to the numerated part. So it gives minus 90 degrees. Right. And here when you look at this part you see it is 1 minus j omega. Right. So this lies in the fourth quadrant. So this is 1 and this is minus j omega. So this point lies in the fourth quadrant. Right. So while writing expression here the denominator it should be written as tan inverse of omega when you move this tan inverse of omega to the numerator part that becomes minus tan inverse of omega right now we are going to do section wise analysis and in section one again we have to look back at our Nyquist plot. so it starts at plus infinity and it ends at plus zero so omega is plus infinity and omega is plus 0. So here when you substitute infinity anything divided by infinity is 0. And again when you substitute infinity here what happens minus 90 and minus 90 gives you minus 180 degree here. And next step substitute omega as 0. When you substitute omega value as 0 anything divided by 0 is infinity. And again when you substitute omega as 0 in this expression minus 90 minus 0. So here you are having minus 90 degrees. Right. Now we are going to find the angle of rotation. So we are doing subtraction minus 90 minus of minus 180. That gives rise to minus 90 minus of minus becomes plus here. So minus 90 plus 180 gives plus 90 degree. We have to rotate it in rotate 90 degrees in anti-clockwise direction. Right. Next we are going to do section 2. So section 2 starts at plus 0 and ends at minus 0. So it starts at plus 0 and it ends at minus 0. So here again substitute the values here. 
when you substitute the value of omega as 0, anything divided by 0 is infinity. Either it is plus 0 or minus 0, the value is infinity. So here, just write infinity for both these terms. And next, when you substitute omega as plus 0, when you substitute 0, what happens? Minus 90, this term becomes 0. So here the answer is minus 90 degrees. And again, when you substitute omega as minus 0, the value is minus 90 degrees since this crosses the origin. Okay, this is the uh, omega equal to minus 0. It comes after the origin, right? So here we are including uh, another minus sign. So minus of minus 90 degrees, right? So when you solve, minus of minus becomes plus, right? So 90 plus 90 minus of minus 90 that becomes plus 180 degree anticlockwise, right? And next one is section 3. It is nothing but it is a mirror image of section 1. And finally section 4, the analysis is not needed. Step 5 is rationalizing. So here uh, we have replaced S by J omega. Rationalizing is nothing but taking complex conjugate for the denominator terms. So here minus J omega and for this term 1 plus J omega. We are multiplying and dividing by the same terms. Then we are doing simple multiplication. You see here we had combined these two terms. We had multiplied these two terms. So we are having answer like this. And finally when you combine the denominator terms. You see j omega into minus j omega gives you omega square. And 1 minus j omega into 1 plus j omega gives 1 plus omega square. Right. And again this 5 gets multiplied with these terms and here we are having an expression like this, right. Then the next step is we have to equate the imaginary term to 0. So here what is the imaginary term? The, this denominator term is common for both the imaginary as well as the real term, right. So here the imaginary term is minus 5 omega divided by omega square into 1 plus omega square, right. So just take the term equate it to 0. So what happens here? This omega square omega cancels each other. Right. So again when you move this term to the right hand side this becomes 0. So finally the value of omega is 0. Now we are going to substitute this value of omega in real term. So here what is the real term? Phi omega square divided by omega square into 1 plus omega square. Right. So just write down the term. Now we are going to substitute the value of omega as 0. So when you substitute 0, what happens? 1 plus 0 is 1, right? So 5 divided by 1 gives you 5 here. So what is Q? Q is nothing but intersection of the Nyquist plot on the negative real axis, right? But here the value of Q is, you see it is positive, right? Next we are going to draw the original Nyquist plot. So here our right hand side is 0 degree. When you move clockwise the angles are negative. When you move anticlockwise the angles are positive. Right. So the first thing is we have to start at minus 180 degree line at origin. So this is my origin and this is my minus 180 degree line. So it has to be rotated in, you see I am having plus here. So it has to be rotated in anti-clockwise direction. So here it is, it started moving in anti-clockwise, right. Where it has to be ended? It has to be ended at minus 90 degree line at infinity. So this is my minus 90 degree line. So here it ends at infinity, right. And second section is infinity minus 90. So this is my starting point. It has to be rotated 180 degree in anti-clockwise direction. Right. So here it starts. So here it is moving in anti-clockwise direction and it has to cover two quadrants. See here we are having 180 degrees. So 90 and 180. Right. And section 3 it is nothing but mirror image of section 1. Right. So here I had drawn. I had shown by using this dotted lines. Right. So finally, this is our Nyquist plot. Now, you see here we are having the value of Q as 5. So where is 5? 5 will be right will be lying on the right hand side part, right? But what is mean by Q? Q is nothing but intersection of the Nyquist plot on the negative real axis. Okay, Q should be always lying on this left hand side. But in this problem, we are having the value of Q 
that lies on the right hand side right so now tell whether the system is stable or unstable what is the criteria the thing is our nyquist plot according to step number 2 what is said in set step number two? you see the value of n is minus 1 that is this minus 1 plus 0 j point should be encircled one time in clockwise direction right but here in our nyquist plot there is no encirclement okay it is very clear from this diagram so what about the stability so the stability that is the closed loop system is said to be unstable because this doesn't match with the step number 2 that is the main reason right now what about the open loop stability open loop stability is easily obtained from again from our step number 2 sorry no need of step number 2 just from step number 1 we can say the system is stable or un you see from this s plane whenever we are having poles which lie on the right hand side of s plane then the system is said to be unstable so finally in this problem both the open loop system and closed loop system are unstable right here comes the end of the problem if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section Thank you